Hello everyone, welcome to the Simple Aviation YouTube video. Today we're going to be covering London City Airports. Um, you know, um, what planes can land there, and if kind of just a short documentary on London City Airport. Um, we'll be showing you quite a few videos today, so um, I'm just going to go on mute and you can watch some of these videos just exploring where London City Airport is located. Right, so that's London City Airport. Um, and London City Airport is perhaps the most interesting um, airport, in my opinion. Um, and you'll um, be realizing that I have geography um, explains profile picture. Um, it is kind of complicated, but yeah. Um, Anyway, so this is London City Airport, guys. Um, and London City Airport is located in the heart of London. And so um, I have quite a few clips, as I mentioned, to show you. So it's going to be a very busy video if you don't want to So um, London City Airport um, is located here. It's a pretty thin strip, and um, it, um, the River Thames is um, flowing um, past it. Um, in the background, you can see the O2 there, the O2 arena. And so um, let's move back. So this is London City Airport from a wing view. What you might see, you can see some of London's famous attractions there. And this is actually British Airways' Embraer Aircraft Park there. Now, I'm going to pause my share and leave it there so that I can get the video ready. And um, the, this video is just going to give you a bit of a background on um, how it can, um, how the pilots land there. Right, so this is what the pilots see on the, uh, their approach to London City Airport. Um, there you have the City of London with Shard. Um, and this is all aboard British Airways' A318. Thank you to British Airways for this video. Tower Bridge is in sight there, as we can see. Um, and um, lots of other things. Oh, I accidentally seem to have rewinded the video back. Oh, yes, it's back to normal. Um, and so um, I'll give you more information on London City Airport and why only certain aircraft can fly. And so it's very steep um, angles that the aircraft needs to turn. Um, and um, you need to be very careful um, and you need, and pilots need to have um, a certification to fly the, um, to London City Airport because if you hit one of these skyscrapers, you're done for this Canary Wharf. London City Airport is just ahead there and you can see the O2 Arena. And so it's pretty much straight now, but then the thing is, you have to stay high up here, but then um, when you get close, you, you still have to stay high, and um, that's a big issue. So the airports in London or London Heathrow, London Gatwick, um, London City Airport, London Luton Airport, to name a few, London Stansted. They're straight ahead, but the aircraft is still banking sometimes. They need to be perfectly in line with the trajectory. And um, you, and you need to be aware of all these skyscrapers. There's a whole city out there. One of the biggest cities in the world too. So you need to be prepared. You need to be ready. Um, and look at this, you need to being in line at the last minute, you might need to change your angle a bit and you need to be careful for that bridge there. Um, this is at A318 landing actually. And um, you need to be braking quickly because it's a very short runway. So you can't come in extra fast to 
but you can't store two and you need to break extra quickly as you can see and you need to come right round until um you pause and yep as you can see the a3 to 18 has been maneuvered so well that it stopped halfway between the runway now you need to backtrack i think so um yeah that that's pretty much it um and you know it's just backtracking the rest of it and yeah um so let me stop my share and let's go back to the presentation um so we were just looking at british airways and this is british airways is in Gray aircraft at london city airport and these are the aircraft allowed so um at london city airport so stuff like helicopters are a sure no no um so we have the atr 42 and the atr 72 is also allowed the embraer 125 the embraer 170 and the 190 the fokker 50 and the fokker 70 are allowed oh see i seem to go to the next slide um british aerospace jet stream 41 is here is allowed bae 146 british aerospace 146 is allowed um the saab 340 and the Saab 2000 are allowed. The de Havilland Dash 8 is allowed. The Airbus A318 and the Airbus A220. The Dawny A228, 318, and 328 jet. And the de Havilland Canada DHC7. So this is more footage. And um, I know we're showing you a lot of British Airways stuff, but British Airways operates a lot of aircraft here, and it um, operates an exclusive EJET family um, of fleet for here at London City. And um, up until 2020, it was actually um, operating the A318 out of here um, for the main British Airways fleet though, um, to New York, A318 from London um, to New York. Now you might be wondering, seriously? And it was actually a thing. And, um, um, and so it was 18 all business class seats, I believe, um, pretty luxurious in it. And um, it would fly um, because it would fly to Shannon um, in Ireland because um, it could not take all the fuel off the London City Airport runway because it, the London City Airport runway is way too small. Um, and so it would stop in Shannon for some re refueling and in Shannon, um, you would um, fly back on the same aircraft, same seat to New York, where you would arrive as a domestic passenger because of some visa stuff that you needed to do before. And, and so that's it, really, from the London City Airport. Um, we do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do consider liking and subscribing if you like these documentaries. Um, uh, I know for sure that I really like um these documentaries but thank you um it's goodbye from me and i'll catch you in the next one guys um goodbye and um if you do like these videos um do also leave us a like thank you <laughs>